Hey everybody, Jem Schofield of the C47 and another episode of Gearbox 2.0. In this episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about using some of the new aperture lights and the new Light Dome 2 and the Mini Dome 2. So let's get started. Boys and girls, it's another episode and unfortunately, something happened that has happened to me many, many, many times over the years, which is anytime I'm on an actual production and it looks like we might have a window of time, I have the intention to shoot a gearbox because that's usually pretty good content to show you guys so you can see what's happening on set and it happened again today. Well, what happened again today was that at the end of the day, when we were striking the set, I realized Again, I had forgotten to shoot a gearbox. So many times this has happened. And I usually say to the crew, don't forget, we need to shoot a gearbox. Nobody remembers, including myself. And then here we are packing everything up and I'm like, crap. So sometimes I don't even shoot the gearbox and I have to just do it on another day. But we have a lot of BTS footage from what we did today. So I thought I'll do this and then I'll walk you through some of the stuff that we did and then I'll show you some footage. So. Shooting a video today for Able Cine on the Aperture family of lights, specifically 300D, just like ridiculous amounts of output out of a, an LED fixture. The new, which I love, 120D2. It's just so much smarter with that single unit. I can't wait till the 300D gets a version two. Hopefully it will. Um, and then some of their new modifiers. So the Light Dome 2 and the Mini Dome 2 which are both, again, ridiculous. I've used the Light Dome for, well, since it came out, and it's a speed ring, and it has rods, and you have to build it and break it apart, and just having the ability to just have everything built in and just set up so fast is great. Having that magic cloth there is really awesome. So what we did is we broke down the whole family of lights, but also did a lighting setup. And I'm in that room where we did that setup. Um, it was uh, still a little bit light outside and no problem for the 300D. And what we did is we set that up with the Light Dome 2, but I took the magic cloth off the front and we just wanted a little bit of a harder light. We put tons of dirt on that sucker because it was windy, it was cold and also set up on a shorty the 120D2 with the Mini Dome 2 and put that in the window that's over here. So big light over here, Light Dome 2, smaller light, though not so small, the 120D2 out there with the Mini Dome 2 and uh, really, really happy with the results. And I'm using this sucker right here, the X-T3 with the 56 millimeter on a gimbal, haven't looked at the footage yet, so you're looking at it for the first time with me as I edit this, and uh, hopefully everything's okay because I'm testing out the focus system on this and everything else, and that will be what we get in some future episodes of Gearbox 2.0, which is how I'm starting to build out this camera system, rig it out, handles, cages, all of that good stuff because people are asking for it. There you go, that's an episode of Gearbox. And uh, hopefully you learned something, you saw some cool stuff. And what else? I think that's about it. I'm excited about some of the content I have coming up for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell so you get notifications on new episodes that come out every week. And I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.